Welcome to the B-Side with Rufus Duffelbaugh. I'm being joined by my partner in crime, longtime friend, and colleague, of course, the brains behind top rank as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Frank Steyer. And we are going to be discussing the rise and fall of the Nordic nightmare, Robert Hellenius. What the hell happened? If anybody who's been following this show for the last few years will know that once upon a time, back when Vladimir Klitschko was fighting David Hay, this man knocked out Samuel Peter, and me and Frank were banking on this Thor lookalike to be the next heavyweight champion in waiting. And most recently, as we can tell, him losing to some sort of guy from the country of Belarus, Yuri Bixasau, however the hell you pronounce it, 10 wins, 15 losses, 3 draws, went the whole distance, winning by split decision. Frank, what the hell happened to Robert Hellenius? Well, Rufus, you know, like you had mentioned, we go far back following Robert Hellenius, and it didn't start with Robert Hellenius for us with the Samuel Peter knockout. The first person he knocked out was another former WBO World Heavyweight Champion, Lehman Brewster. He knocked him out uh, in in like eight rounds um, early in his career, 2010. And that right there gave us a glimpse in the which was, you know, in our opinion, it was the next guy to take over after Klitschko. Um, Possibly at the time we thought would have been the guy to beat Klitschko. You know, he went in there, he beat... uh, be Gregory Tony, uh, uh, Attila Levin, Samuel Peter, Sergei Lykovich, Derek Shasura. And in that Derek Shasura fight, he, he tore something in his shoulder. He had a rotator cuff injury. And it was from that point on, he just declined. So after the Shasura fight, he took a little bit of a break. And he came back, and it was a rough comeback for him. You know, uninspiring wins over Sherman the Tank Williams, Michael Sprott. Uh, fought a couple journeymen, and then he went in there in and in, in somewhat of an elimination type of fight. And it's a fighter that you, you know, you spoke highly of in the past, um, Johan Duapa. Um, you know, break KO up KO in the six. KO six round six. KO, and it was a scary looking KO, and it was hard to. That was a hard one to digest. No, absolutely, Frank. You know, and. He did put together a few small wins against some journeymen again, and then he lost unanimous decision to Dillian White. And now he's struggling with this guy. And it seems ever since Derek Chisora, you can blame the shoulder all you want, but Robert Hellenius has become gun-shy because the man prior to that was throwing bombs, moving forward, taking one to give one, and it's like night and day. And he's claiming that he broke his hand in the fight with this Yuri guy from Belarus. I'm not exactly buying it. Even if it was the truth, a guy like that, he should have been able to bounce him around the canvas like a basketball. There's no excuse for that especially when you're 6'7", 250 pounds, um, and having scary power. And he had the pedigree being Tyson Fury's um, former sparring partner for years. Um, It reminds me of uh, the tragedy known as David Price, you know, and uh, it's quite sad all the way around. It is, and you know, you mentioned in David Price. I wouldn't even say David Price is a a tragedy. David Price is what he is. And, you know, at this point, he's fighting for another shot at a potential heavyweight championship when he faces Alexander Povetkin on the Joshua Parker undercard. But it's not about those guys. It's about Robert Hellenius. And, you know, it's, it's, it's sad to say. I mean, this was a guy, I remember we had him on the, the radio show two or three times mm-hmm. in the past, and we were always excited to have him on the show. We were always you know, because again, he was the future, and this is just a this is a common story in boxing. Sometimes you see, you know, someone who has a bright future, uh, has all the potential in the world, and then somehow they hit a speed bump or they hit a 
a pothole in the road to the to the top and oh absolutely um maybe a historical comparison Dwayne Bobbick man with a hell of a lot of knockout wins big and strong the next great white hope the man who was going to be the heavyweight champion suffers his first defeat and is never the same again um for all intents and purposes we're seeing history repeat itself and uh i think we've beaten this uh this has beaten a dead horse you know we ain't really contributing any more than anyone else can at this point in time. So I'm going to tell everybody, thanks for tuning in on this episode. Leave your comments uh, below um, on Mr. Hellenius. Anything you'd like to contribute, anything you think we have missed out on, and Jesus bless every single one of you.